Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I've got another delivery from Melody Susie. So my last video with them, of course, was the dust collector. Today I have a lamp, which I'm very excited to open. So let's get straight into the box. I'm just, I have it slightly off camera at the moment because my address is on the front. So I'm just quickly opening it. Well, I'll say quickly, it's obviously not quick, is it? But very, very well packaged is good because obviously it has a long way to come my discount code for melody susie is always in the description box by the way if i do ever forget to put it in the corner of the videos so let me just go out starting melody susie like i must say is just the perfect like mid-range brand like you know what you're getting is going to be good value well, you know it's going to be a good product, but the the value is really good as well because the prices are really good for what you get. So let's open this box up, which is apparently easier said than done. There we go. They've also sent me a couple of gels as well, so I'm going to be using those in this video. So let's have a look. I'm excited. Ooh, this is nice. Removable base, which I like. Right, I'm running out of space on my desk because I keep leaving too much stuff on it. So let's just take this out, make some space. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's pink inside. It's obviously got all the LED lights. And then on the top, We've got this bit of pink and it's white mainly. We've got a 30 second button, a 60 second, a 99 second and then an on button. I'm assuming this is going to tell us how many seconds we've got left. And then we've got the base. So I'm just going to pop that on. Oh, that's really easy to put on. I just slot straight in and it's magnets. So that's easy enough. I like removable base because it's easier to do toes. There's also, I didn't show you, fingerprint marks on the base itself so that's handy to know where to put thumbs because they've got thumb things <laughs> I don't know how I was to say that but I like that very spacious very pretty so let me just get rid of my other lamp so I can plug this in of course it comes with a adapter an adapter because I'm in the UK so this is what the plug looks like and then it comes with the adapter for you to just attach on like so okay so just pops the wire into the back so i'm going to press the on button ah it's rechargeable i've completely forgot about that let me get the um book okay so there's also a little card for the warranty information as well um so the book has all the info that you need so that is I think that's all of the English yeah so that is everything that you'd need to know you should always look at this sort of stuff before um using anything but not, I'm not gonna lie i never do i just go straight into it but yeah i forgot that it was rechargeable so that's always a positive so you don't have to have wires everywhere really good for mobile nail techs as well so i'm just going to turn it on which i think just hold this down so that's on 30 i can change it to 60 or 99 and then when you put your hand in it will automatically come on or you can just press the button and it'll come on that way so it's up to you how you want to use it so that's the lamp, very beautiful. I'm just gonna put that next to me because obviously I'm gonna be using that alongside these gel polishes. Very excited to see what colors we've got here because I have absolutely no idea what they are. Which makes it all the more exciting. Oh, look at these fancy bottles. <gasps> wow sorry i've just realized how zoomed out i am but look at how fancy these bottles are i've never seen these bottles before my other ones are not this style these are beautiful 
and that is obviously going to be a brilliant colour for this time of year and then we've got another one as well suspense is killing me they're really well packaged got the cellophane the box and the tray inside the box to keep it nice and neat i can't say that i'll leave them in the box because i generally don't have space to store them in boxes but very good packaging they're beautiful boxes as well actually look at the design of that how stunning uh, anyway, so these are the two colours. So we've got P29, which is... Ooh, that is beautiful. Stunning colour. And then we've got P33, which is... Oh, wow. I thought it was just going to be a nude with them. When I looked closer, look at that sheen. It's got like a gold hue to it. That is absolutely stunning. I love that how gorgeous is that so i do already have some melody susie um some gel polishes like i mentioned i'm just going to grab those and then we're just going to do a quick design just to test out the lamp so we've got cherry boom which is this beautiful bright red which i used in a recent video i think it was in the dust collector video actually and we've got snow white which of course is white <laughs> shock and then we've got Champagne Star, which is champagne. <laughs> and then we've got Cinnamon Cloud, which is this beautiful, neutral, nudey, pinky sort of colour. These bottles are just stunning, aren't they? Beautiful. So I don't have a clue what we're going to do, but we're just going to get straight into it because let's not waste any time. So I'm going to do them on my nails. Okay, so I've quickly just buffed my nails a little bit. I don't need the design to last because I am going to be doing another video on my nails very soon. I'm not using a peel off base coat though because I'm going to be doing an infill soon because as you can see I do have some just a little bit of growth but a little bit is plenty for me to do a video with so it's fine. Um, so I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I should probably think about it. really love this colour. It is absolutely beautiful. So I'm thinking I might just do something subtle with that and white. But then I feel like I need to use both, but I don't know. I don't know whether that's going to be a bit overkill. Then I think just the other one with white is probably a bit underkill. <laughs> what is the word for what I mean by that? I don't know. Underwhelming, I suppose. Not enough. Um, so yeah, I should really think about what the hell I'm going to do with these colours because I wanted to definitely incorporate at least one of these because they're both beautiful. Um, I should probably swatch them to be fair. So let's just quickly do that on a swatch stick because I like to have swatches of all the colours that I hold in my collection anyway. And then it doesn't really matter if I don't actually use them both then because you've seen them anyway. So that's what we'll do. This is just beautiful. It's just so different. It'd be perfect for those clients who don't like anything too crazy. Like they like quite natural. Not natural. Neutral is the word. I think neutral and natural obviously mean two different things. And I definitely meant neutral. This is clearly not a natural nail colour. No one's natural nails are going to be this colour. But do you know what I mean? Like it's it's really subtle but beautiful. I'm popping that in the lamp and I'm going to put it on 60 seconds. Pop something in to make sure the sensor comes on. And then I'm doing the red, which is P29. I can't get over how beautiful these bottles are. They're stunning. Nice, gorgeous colour the colours are so like the texture of them the consistency is so creamy it's beautiful lovely to work with absolutely stunning and how perfect is that for one coat it's not see-through at all and it's completely all over even full coverage which is just amazing so we're just curing that 
I'm going to do a second coat of this one, but not the red, because the red just really doesn't need it. To be honest, I don't think this one really does either, which is crazy, because this sort of colour you definitely assume would need multiple coats, because it's a lighter one with a shimmer to it, but no, nope. it's beautiful. absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to pop that into the lamp as well and then we're going to think about what we're going to be doing on my nails because I still haven't figured it out um I just want to do something Christmassy I think because I haven't really got anything on my channel Christmassy yet so I feel like I'm uh I'm slacking a little bit with the Christmas um what was it called inspo so I think just for the sake of the video I'm going to use the red because it will show up better in a video basically with because I want to do a red and white set so I'm going to use of course I'm going to use Melody Susie's white but I'm going to be using darker red instead of the brighter one that I used in the last video so I'm going to paint two nails red and two nails white I'm not really a red nail type of person to be honest but if I were to wear red nails, it would be this, this sort of shade, not the brighter one that I've got. Much prefer deep, darker nail colours, and that goes for any colour, not just red. It's very rare I actually really wear full-on colour, to be honest, because... I'm usually using my nails for content so I just keep them a nice neutral builder gel colour and then I can go ahead and use that as the base then for any designs I want to do on top but when I paint my nails if I'm going somewhere or doing something or whatever I do tend to opt for the deeper colours unless I'm having a midlife crisis and I'll just go for whatever. <laughs> I'll do the second coat of them off camera so it's not too long. I'm not doing anything crazy on them anyway, I just want something nice and simple and quick but Christmassy. Let's bring the festive spirit to my channel. I feel like now is an acceptable time to do that. I love this white, it is so pigmented but thin to use as well. I hate the really thick whites that are really difficult to get a thin layer of because then they just don't cure properly and it's a pain in the butt. But this isn't one of those. Super easy. To get thin coats of you do need two coats but so that's pretty normal for a, a white and to be fair it's pretty normal for any color like that is obviously the standard so nothing wrong with that at all just have to ignore my growth I'm not I'm purposely not painting on my natural nail because I don't want to stain it obviously there's no product on there already so I don't want to cause any problems by adding gel polish straight to my natural nail because there is no circumstance in which that would make any sense to do so it might seem strange that I'm painting a bit further down my nail but you know these must so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp and do the second coat really quickly off camera Okay, so I've put my two colours on my palette and I've also done the second coat of colour on my nails. I'm just going to remove the tacky layer just to make sure that any nail art I do doesn't slip and slide around where I don't want it. Especially white, because white tends to have a, a very colourful inhibition layer that sometimes can spread around, which is very frustrating, so I'd rather avoid that. So I don't, I still don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it and hope that it comes to me. 
Um, you might think I look crazy because it looks like I'm wearing a coat and you're correct. I am crazy and I am wearing a coat. Um, you might also be able to hear the hum of the heater in the background. So I've got the heater on, but I am still too cold. So hence why I'm sat in my coat, but never mind. So for the white on red, I'm going to do... So for the red on the white, I'm going to do a present and a candy cane style nail. And then for these two, I'm going to do one with snowflakes and one... I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but we'll come to it, it's fine. So my snowflake one, I'm just going to do those really easy snowflakes that we do with a dotting tool because... They are super quick and easy. It's currently 10 p.m. and I am very ready to go to bed because days with a child, a baby to be specific, are long. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm going in with one dot there and then I'm gonna dot off the excess from my uh, dotting tool. I want it to be a bit bigger. And then a small dot there. And then one to the side to that side and then another one smaller well that's really wonky isn't it never mind we'll just have to pretend that it's not and then one up here one here a bit bigger one here and one there looks a bit crazy but it's a trust the process scenario so that's what it's gonna have to do I'm also going to put one here, but just the one. And then I've got my brush loaded up with product to make sure that it's through every single bristle on my brush. And then we're just going to join those dots like a dot to dot. And then this one, I'm just going to do like a little star. But I am going to do all of the points. Like so. So that's that nail done. And then the uh, ring finger with white on... <sighs> What's... <the> red. <laughs> We're just going to do a little polar bear down here. Just something nice and quick and easy is what we're looking for here. Actually, I might do a snowman. just on the side of my nail can I do that now I've done this shape hmm I need to make it rounder at the bottom now because I'm doing something different so we're just going to alter that slightly and then the next one If I'd thought of this from the beginning, I think this would have turned into a really cute design, but because I um, didn't, and I'm botching it, instead of doing it how I originally could imagine it, it's not going to turn out as well, but it's fine, we're just going to, we're going to go with it and just imagine what could have been, should have just stuck with the polar bear idea, but here we are, it's too late in the evening for me to even bother taking this off and starting again so we're just going to go with it it's fine hopefully the other nails will look really cute and they'll um prevent any attention being drawn to this nail it's fine that's my plan i mean it's not great but it's not terrible so we're going with it Clean up the shape a bit and hopefully that will help. Okay, we're going we're going with it, it's fine. 
So, like I said, other two I have already planned, thank God, so they're not going to turn out hopefully as dreadful. So for the middle one, we're going to do our um, bow. So I'm going to do a line like this and a line like this. can't really do straight lines with such a sh that's not even remotely central not central uh i know what i mean <laughs> but anyway i can't do them with short brushes it's just not it's not possible for me i need a long one so i'm just getting a longer striper brush to do this with Just coating every single bristle. And then I'm going to do it like this to hopefully get it straight this time. If I do it from a different angle, it might be slightly easier. That's, that's my thought process, but we'll see how true that becomes. But then again, it would sort of look better if it was wonky because then it would match the other nails. <laughs> I'll do and then we're going across I should have done this with my hand facing me because I don't even know whether this is remotely straight um no shock I'm just gonna do what I shouldn't do and thicken it up so I'm gonna leave this like this because the bow I'm gonna do in black so I need to do a bit of black detail on the snowman so I'm going to do that black detail on there as well and then the pinky we're just doing some candy cane style stripes so I'm just going to go straight in I'm doing them quite thick mainly because I am being lazy and the thicker I do the stripes the less of them I have to do About the same amount of uh, width for the white. This wasn't really meant to be a nail art video, it was literally just meant to be just about the lamp, but here we are. As soon as I saw the gels, I just knew I had to use one. The lamp is lovely by the way, it looks very nice on my desk, works really well, the buttons are really easy to use. It's very, very good. It's a very aesthetic lamp, aesthetically pleasing lamp. And I really like that the uh, pink matches my nail art brushes that are also on my desk that's very satisfying <laughs> anyway so this is what we're looking like so far so i'm going to pop that into the lamp okay they're out of the lamp now so we're going to go in with the next step which is adding the black detail to the ones that need it so i'm just getting that on my brush now instead i'm going to do my bow so i'm just starting in the center and just going outwards And then creating that circular shape. I'm just doing it really thin at the moment, but I will thicken it up a bit so it is more visible. I just want to make sure I'm happy with the shape before I go making it harder to get rid of. So that is fine. I'm now just going to go in and thicken it up a little. So, and then create the swirly bit of the uh, I 
like that. And then on the snowman, I'm just gonna give him a little scarf. And then I'm going to give him some buttons and um, eyes. Actually, I don't know whether to do a face or not. Should I do a hat or... I think I might just, I might just do the buttons, but I can't find... Oh, I've got my docking tool right next to me and somehow I can't find it. Um, so I want these dots to be really, really small and I haven't got my really small dot on hand. So I'm just going to use my bigger one but get rid of a lot of the product off my tool so I know then that I'll only get the small dots like so I'm not going to give him a face or anything we're just going to leave it like that and then I think I'm going to leave it like that I'm not going to go overboard and add too much because I always go over the top and then regret it so I'm just going to leave them like that I'm going to pop them in the lamp pop some top coat on and then show you what they look like when they're done Okay, I've finished my nails. I've top coated them. I put them in the lamp. I just need to put a little bit of oil on because they are like, so very dry, and I'm hoping that it sort of hides the grow out as well. <laughs> hoping it won't look quite as obvious when my nails are not so dry. Anyway, this is what they look like. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Very cute. Have no idea what I was going for, so <laughs> they turned out okay considering. Um, but yeah, so obviously the whole point of this video was just to show you these gels and the lamp. The lamp is rechargeable, which is obviously very helpful for many different reasons. So if you're looking for a rechargeable lamp, I highly recommend this one. It is just, it's a beautiful lamp. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see it in all its glory. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's super, super easy to take the bottom off, which I really, really like. Because I've had lamps in the past where I literally have to like fight to get them off. And I worry that I'm gonna actually break something by doing that because sometimes these pieces are really high um, and they just get stuck basically. But these are magnetic, which is good. So they are easier to take off and they're not really, really long. So they don't get stuck either. And obviously you get 30 seconds, 60, your 99 second low heat mode and then your on and off button so it's not on all the time which is obviously helpful for rechargeable because it's not going to be wasting battery when you're not using it so super super helpful it will definitely help me because i absolutely hate having wires everywhere so i will of course be charging it now and then i will turn it off i will unplug it sorry um and use it like that because that is very helpful and it's easier to move around the desk as well when it's um when it's like that but this is how the nails turned out i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching thank you so much to melody susie for sending me the lamp um and the gels they are beautiful i can't wait to do a video with this other color because that is just stunning so if anyone's got any inspiration for me for using this color please pass it on and i will hopefully get some ideas to be able to put into action <laughs> put into action put into whatever the word is that i'm looking for i literally don't have the brain capacity to be able to think of it right now but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will be back very soon with another video bye